Hello, hello, my lovely Cancers. We are going to be doing your weekly reading for February 12th through the 25th. Um, I am switching to doing two week readings as opposed to one week, one week readings, um, mainly because I just don't have time to do 12 video editings every single week. It's just got too much time, not enough time, however you want to put it. Okay, let's try to get these looking nice here real quick. So far, Cancer, just looking at your cards right here, I feel like you have some of the most positive cards of any readings I have had so far this week. Looking at everything right here. All right. So, 12th through the 25th, we're doing two weeks at a time as opposed to single week readings. That way you guys are still getting your readings, and then I also have time to kind of do these other extra projects that I like to do for you guys. So, Cancer, let's go ahead and get started. Your first card of the week, starting on Monday, February 12th, is the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups, this is a card about things coming in from the past. And oftentimes it's idealizing or maybe even seeing some things through rose-colored glasses. So you may be reminiscing on some past times with some friends, but... Even then, overall, this is a very positive energy card. This is about, you know, thinking about the good times and sitting in that energy of remembering the positive things that have happened for you, you know, expressing gratitude for the things that have entered your life and, you know, just overall basking in some positive energy present, even if it is from the past a little bit, this positive energy. Um, so overall, you know, starting off your week with some really good, you know, positive reminiscing energy here. Then the following day on the 13th, you have the Two of Cups in reverse. Now, so I don't see this as, sometimes this card can sometimes mean like, you know, arguing between two people. But I, I think in your case, Cancer, some of you may be thinking about the lack of partnership that you have in your life. You know, maybe you are in a partnership and you have kind of these feelings a little bit of, you know, someone not pulling their weight. But I think a lot of this might be you, Cancer, reaching or hoping for a partnership. I think I'm kind of getting a feeling of like loneliness. I feel like some of you guys might be feeling pretty lonely. I mean, we're coming up on, this is literally the day before Valentine's Day with this card right here. And so I feel like some of you guys may just kind of be thinking about what you're missing out on as opposed to, you know, thinking about what you have at this moment. Um, and, you know, that's neither here nor there. It's not necessarily a positive or a negative thing. I think when we get too focused on what we feel like we're missing out on, you know, it kind of keeps us from being grateful or expressing gratitude for the things that we have. So just keep that in mind moving forward. You know, you don't always need a partnership to completely complete you. You still have other love available to you in other forms. And actually here for you, Cancer, on 14th, February 14th on Valentine's Day, you have the Lover's card in reverse. So some of you Cancers are feeling pretty single right now. <laughs> and I'm sorry, my friends, but... You know, sometimes this can mean that you are feeling single or feeling like you are missing out on some love connection. But I think that what this is, is that you're disconnected from where love should be coming from. You know, I think that sometimes we can get caught up in wanting a partner and we end up accepting it from places that maybe aren't necessarily the best for us. And the first thing to do, so the lover's card here, Cancer... The lovers is more than just about, you know, like a lover partnership. This card actually often represents you loving yourself. It represents you um, connecting with your higher self. When you look at this card, this is two of the same things. They're two different beings, but they're reflected perfectly to each other. And it's meant to signify that, you know, oftentimes when we are looking for partners or we're looking for partnership, we're looking for 
people that are reflections of ourself or we're looking for soulmates that you know recognize and see us for ourselves see us for who we are and I think cancer really what you need to be focusing on is doing this for yourself first you need to be focusing on being your own best partner first and not necessarily focused on someone else meeting this need for you I think first you have to recognize yourself who you are and what amazing things you bring to the table first and when you are able to recognize and love yourself and, you know, not accept anything less than what you deserve, you can often find that once you get to that point of acceptance, you can kind of see some more doors open up for you. If you are stuck in a place where maybe you are accepting love from, I don't want to say lower people or lower beings, but when you accept less than what you deserve, it... It, it oftentimes comes from a place of, you know, not feeling, not valuing yourself enough. And you have to value yourself, Cancer, because you bring so much more to the table than just accepting love based off of, you know, just wanting somebody to be there. And it's less about having somebody there and more about having the right person who can actually meet your needs. So take that how you will, Cancer. I'm just, you know, saying it as I see it. So let's keep going. Um, right after Valentine's Day here on the 15th, on Thursday, you have the Five of Swords. And this can often signify conflict. When you see here, you have one sword up against these four swords. And so, yes, it's sometimes conflict against others, but it can also be conflict against or within yourself since the swords are... The sword suit is related to our thoughts, our, our ideas. So you may be having trouble accepting some ideas, or you may be having some ideas that you are experiencing some internal conflict over. You know, maybe you have an idea about something, or even since we've been, your first three cards were all about partnerships here. It's very possible, Cancer, that you are experiencing some conflict within a partnership, but this card, I feel like, is more based on your feelings or your thoughts about this partnership. I feel like some of you are having conflict about, you know, maybe how to handle or what to do in a certain situation with a partner. Um, I, I know that sounds pretty vague, but there's a lot of different scenarios that this could possibly be for. And I feel like this is mainly just conflict about how to handle a partnership. You know, maybe you are having conflict about whether or not to enter a partnership with this person, or maybe you're having conflict about, you know, a an actual conflict within your partnership that you are struggling how to, you know, reconcile the differences a little bit here. And this card can also mean, you know, standing up for something, standing your ground against it, because, you know, you have this one sword coming up against these four others. It's, you know, sometimes standing your ground and... I guess evaluate whether or not the hill that you're standing your ground on is actually where you want to be. You know, is it actually worth it for you to uh, engage in this conflict with these other people based on what this conflict is about? So let's go ahead and keep going. We'll move on. Friday here, Cancer, you have the Queen of Pentacles. So Friday, when we move into Friday, I feel like a lot of you are stepping into this energy of being self-sufficient. The Queen of Pentacles is a person who takes care of herself. And this is also a person who, you know, has control over their finances. They're able to not only provide for themselves financially, but also just emotionally. You know, the Pentacles are associated with our material items. So this is someone who not only has money to take care of themselves, but also, you know, money and resources and the ability to nurture things in the present for themselves. So I feel like you are really standing in your nurturing power here, Cancer. And I know that that's, that's such a Cancer thing is thinking about nurturing. But I feel like this is you, this is about you understanding nurturing yourself. Understanding your ability to create this, this, 
abundance and this security. I feel like this is you really understanding like how to be your own provider in this case. I feel like you are definitely someone who provides for yourself, who takes care of yourself. Um, I would, I would say that this is probably a pretty positive card for you, that you're sitting here and you are recognizing that you are the person who takes care of yourself. But I also feel like a lot of you here have this longing for somebody else to, to step up to the plate and take care of you. Like, you are someone who takes care of others so immensely. You care about other people so much that, you know, you you know that you can provide for yourself, but it's not necessarily what you want. You want somebody who can step up to the plate and help, you know, take care of you the way that you take care of other people, the way that you provide for the other people in your life. I definitely do sense that that longing a little bit here for you, Cancer. And I think that that's further shown with the next card that you have, because you actually have on Saturday here the Princess of Pentacles in reverse, which is, you know, princess to queen. We moved from, or I'm sorry, we moved from the queen to the princess here um, in the reverse. And so I feel like this is definitely that inner longing. This card here specifically is that inner longing for somebody else to help take care of you and you know, as I said, pentacles, they're associated with our material wealth, but they're also, you know, it, it's related to earth. And with earth is our grounding. Earth is our, our foundations, the things that help us feel cared for, the things that help us feel like we are within our home, within our, yeah, this is really like, when you, when you think of pentacles, this is your home. And not just like the love within the home, but the actual like foundations, the actual nurturing that happens within the home and the, you know, the, the care that happens within it. And the princess of pentacles is, there is a lot of work, a lot of unrecognized work that goes into taking care of a home and creating this nurturing environment that a lot of people, you know, when you think about a home and you think about nurturing and you think about you know, what someone taking care of you is, there is a lot of work, a lot of unrecognized work that goes into that practice. Cancer, I really think that this is you feeling like you are tired and that you want somebody else to step up to the plate. You spend all your time taking care of these other people, you know, and maybe not even having your needs met within a relationship. And you're like, what the heck? Like I put so much of myself out there for people and I take care of other people, so why can't I get that energy back? I think the thing here, Cancer, is that you, when you're giving your energy out like this, um, you can't expect it back. If you're giving something with the expectation of it being returned to you in the same manner, I think that that's kind of, you know, an unfair expectation, an unfair exchange. If you haven't made your needs clear, and you haven't made your expectations for the reciprocation clear, that can be kind of some mixed signals, you know? It's like with money, right? If you loan money to a friend it, it with the expectation of getting it back, it can kind of put some, some strain on your friendship, relationship, whatever the case may be. So if you are, if you are giving something to somebody, if you're giving this care to somebody with the expectation that they will care for you in reciprocation, I would kind of, you know, sit with that a little bit and maybe adjust or, you know, dive deep into why, why this is happening for you this way. But on the flip side, I think that, you know, it is a natural thing when you put so much into other people, when you are the one recognizing that other people need something and you are meeting those needs without having to be asked, it can be really hard to be okay with other people not meeting those needs in reciprocation for you. So, you know, I, it's a hard line to walk because on one hand it's, you know, you want this reciprocation of needs, you want this thing met for you, but you also have to be okay on the flip side for, you know, your needs not being met if you don't ask for it. I hope that makes sense. Because I do feel like that that happens a lot. But I also feel like you can't go into it expecting that other people are going to 
automatically meet this for you all the time. So anyway, I'm sorry. I know that that's a weird long tangent. Let's move on to your Sunday card. Let's just move on. On Sunday here, Cancer, you have the strength card. And so this is emotional strength, physical strength. As I was kind of saying, you know, meeting all these needs for people and trying to take care of everybody else is a job that is extremely hard. You know, when you are nurturing other people or taking care of things outside of yourself, it takes a lot, a lot of work. And oftentimes this work is not recognized and it's not reciprocated or whatever the case may be. It takes a lot of this inner strength. And so on Sunday, Cancer, you might find that your strength is being tested, especially within the areas of your love and relationships. Just based on your first few cards here, all three of your first cards of the week are about love, partnership, relationship. So I feel like there is definitely a very challenging aspect of, you know, something that is challenging your strength, something that is requiring a lot from you. And so this card can sometimes be a renewal of your inner strength. You find kind of that second wind that helps you keep pushing through. But it can also, you know, just indicate that exhaustion, that tiredness of, you know, being at the end of your rope and still trying to find extra extra pieces to hold on to, extra things to keep yourself going. You know, when you've been going through the desert, finding those, you know, little drops of water where you can, trying to keep th going through, trying to keep pushing. So... You know, Cancer, for some of you, you may find a renewal of strength. And for others of you, you may find yourself at the, you know, you might find your strength being very tested here. So I do feel like the following week, we'll talk about the following week more here very soon. But your next following Sunday here ends with the Ten of Cups. So I do feel like even though your strength is being tested this first week, you know, there is kind of a respite that happens here a little bit. And we'll go into more about how this takes place here very soon. But Cancer, I really feel for you because as I said, you know, there is so much work and energy that goes into taking care of other people, taking care of partners, family, friends, whatever the case may be, uh, even taking care of, you know, um, work stuff. Maybe some of you are in nurturing, caretaking tasks, like you might actually be a caretaker for, you know, some, uh, maybe you might be, you know, like a caretaker, you might even be, you know, uh, a nurse or someone working within daycare or small children, a teacher, you know, I feel like caretaking tasks, basically, not just for yourself either. And it takes a lot of energy out. It takes a lot of this strength to take care of other people. But Cancer, there's also, you know, on the flip side, you have to make sure that you're taking care of yourself too. And I know that that is way easier said than done. And, you know, as I said, you have to kind of evaluate whether the where the give and take is. You know, are you giving yourself so much because you're giving with the expectation of receiving? Are you giving to the detriment of yourself without proper boundaries. You know, these are all things that you have to be asking yourself and considering for yourself. So, you know, don't don't give too much without proper boundaries. Don't give with the expectation of receiving. Um, give freely well you can, but not to the detriment of yourself. Anyway, I'll get off my soapbox. We'll go through the other cards here. Cancer, on the following Monday, you have the Ten of Wands. So again, there is a lot of strength being tested. The Ten of Wands is actually, you know, you see this person here carrying all this heavy weight on their back. And they are carrying so much, they're not able to look towards the future. This person is looking down at their feet. They're just trying to take everything one step at a time. And that's kind of what you have to do here. When you are burdened, when you are under the weight and you feel like things are crushing you, you just have to take it one step at a time. You have to keep putting one foot in front of the other. And 
like this card, you know, when you are in the process of trying to survive, when you're trying to make it through day by day, step by step, you can't look towards the future because you can't envision future yet. You are so bogged down that you are just trying to survive, trying to take one step at a time. So Cancer, oh my god, I got like a huge wave just now of just like sadness from just feeling this, you know? I feel like you're putting so much love and effort and energy and you are just, you know, on one end you are carrying so much for other people and you are at the point where you are just trying to survive, make it step by step. So I feel for you and, you know, I, I feel for you. I love you. I'm, I wish I could just give you a big hug right now and, you know, tell you that things are going to be okay and to just keep on keeping on. Even when things get really hard, it can be very, you know, daunting trying to go through all of this. Let's keep moving. That's how your Monday is. We move on to Tuesday with the Two of Swords. So this is kind of where things start to get interesting for the week. You know, your, your, your first part of the first week is, you know, coming to terms with love and, you know, reciprocation and things like that, nurturing other people. And the Two of Swords, nor... How do I say this? This is normally like a decision, but I feel like this is kind of a, not a breaking point, but a meeting of two things. This is kind of like the, I'm almost feeling like the straw before. How do I say this? This doesn't feel like a decision to me. This feels like things coming to a head. This feels like two different paths or things within your life are meeting at a point. And there is sort of a sense of a decision here because one of these things is going to overcome the other. But I feel like more what's happening is that there's equal pressure in opposite directions. And I feel like I don't want to say breaking point because that sounds, you know, devastating and bad. <laughs> in a way. Does that make sense? But I definitely feel like things are coming to a head. I feel like you're becoming aware of these two energies and you are not necessarily making a decision, but you're becoming aware of how these two things are contradicting each other. How these two things are, you know. And I feel like these two things are specifically your effort that you're putting in for other people and the effort for yourself. I feel like this Tuesday here, on your second week here, this Tuesday, this is when you get to that point of understanding that you have been putting so much into other people. And that's one piece of the equation here. You've been putting so much into other people and you need to put into yourself. And so you're kind of having this, this moment of like trying to figure out where this balance, where this you know, energy is going to go? Are you going to stand your ground and stand your boundaries and take care of yourself? Or are you going to give in and have other people take advantage of you? And I feel like the swords, the swords feels pretty poetic to me in a way because the swords are, you know, swords are kind of about fighting, obviously. I mean, that's that's what swords are for. <laughs> How do I... <laughs> um, this is like conflict, but these swords are curved here. So it's not like this is exactly what this tool is meant for. This almost feels like a scythe in a way. Or a, not a scythe because it's not like a long one. Whatever the weird little small one is. Um, <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Uh, when we enact our boundaries. Some people can see that as an attack. And those people are not the people that respect us. When we enact our boundaries, if people have problems with it, that is their problem. Your job is to take care of yourself and to enact your boundaries. And whatever feelings people have about you having your boundaries is their problem to figure out, not yours. So I just want to encourage you, Cancer, to stand your ground, stand with your boundaries, 
don't be afraid to hurt other people's feelings by telling them no because they are the ones benefiting from you not having your boundaries. And if they get upset because you say, hey, I need some time to take care of myself, I can't fix your problem today, that's on them. They gotta figure it out just like you do, just like you figure out your stuff for yourself and other people, Cancer. Because you're definitely figuring stuff out for other people here. They can figure out how to deal with their mess while you figure out how to take care of yourself for a little bit, okay? So don't be afraid to be strong with your boundaries, even if it does cause some conflict or hurt for other people. Because like I said, that is their business to take care of and deal with, not yours. Then we move on Wednesday here with the world card in reverse. So I always feel like this card is kind of funny to me because it's like your world is being turned upside down. You know, we're seeing things from an opposite perspective. The world card is a completion, an ending, and I feel like what this is, is it's almost like you are seeing from the other side of the looking glass. You see through the other side of like a portal here. So Cancer, you enact your boundaries, you enact your, you know, care for yourself, you put yourself as a priority, and you're seeing kind of what this other reality for yourself looks like. A reality where you can still do, where you can still take care of other people. Because I feel like, you know, it's something that you like to do. You do like to care for others and you like to nurture and take care of other people. But you also need to take care of yourself. And so I feel like this card is you kind of seeing the glimpses of that future for yourself. Where you can still love and take care of and nurture other people while also receiving it while also taking care of yourself too. So that's kind of what I'm getting from this is, you know, I don't see it as an ending. I don't see it in that sense. I see this as you kind of just, you know, getting a glimpse of this future reality for yourself where you, where you do take care of yourself. All right, so Cancer here on Thursday, we move into the Hermit card here. So what I feel like is happening here, Cancer, is that this boundary holding this you know giving to others to a point of detriment to yourself is you know i feel like the hermit card here is you examining why you are doing this in the first place i feel like this is you thinking about you know why do i give to other people to detriment to myself is it because i actually you know want to care and nurture these people or am i just giving them this care and affection because I want it for myself too, you know? So I feel like this is the moment, this Thursday is the moment where you actually take the time to kind of dive deep about your motivations behind doing this. The Hermit card is self-imposed isolation, but it's also about a journey. It's about a soul-seeking journey that only you can do only you can look at yourself inside and dive deep. It's really that shadow work that we do to try to figure out our motivations behind our actions. And to also just really get down to the root of like, why do I do this? Why am I the way that I am? And do I have the ability to change this? And the answer is yes. You have the ability to change anything that you don't like. It, it takes work, it takes practice, and it takes time. But at any point, if you are unsatisfied with yourself or something that you are doing, you do have the ability to change it. But also on the flip side of that, there are aspects of your person, of yourself, that can never change. And one of that is your value. Regardless of what you do, your value will never change as a person. You have just as much value as anybody else. And we are all beings of light. We are all individual aspects of the divine. We all carry little pieces of worthiness of, you know, God or uh, Brahman or whatever, Allah, whatever you believe. We all carry little pieces and reflections of divinity within us. And that will never change either. And that's part of where, you know, recognizing that value for yourself comes from is recognizing that, you know, we are all kind of these these tiny drops of divinity. 
of divine light. And, you know, you go into life, Cancer, you go into life here ex not expecting. You go into life with the idea that you see this in other people. You see their divinity. But do you see it in yourself? You know, are you giving people these, you know, the benefit of the doubt? Are you giving people your nurturing and love and affection because you recognize this in other people, but you're unable to recognize it in yourself for some reason? I don't know what the answer is here, Cancer. This is obviously, as I said, this is a deep dive for yourself. So you are going to have to do the work here to dive deep and really examine where this is coming from. But this is what you're doing on the Thursdays. You're taking that time to dive deep for yourself. Then Friday, Cancer, here we move to the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This is kind of more of that thinking process a little bit. This is more of that evaluation process. But this evaluation process is more about the work that you have already done up to this point. In the upright, the Eight of Pentacles is about building your masterpiece, putting in the work, putting in the, you know, practice to build something better for yourself or to, you know, practice something that you care about. So for some people, this could be, in the case of this card exactly, it could be you practicing art. But it also could be you, you know, practicing your craft or trying to build a, you know, some of you might be building a side hustle. Some of you might be building a, not something that you want to get money from, but you might be building some sort of charity or some sort of, you know, uh, a project within your workspace that benefits yourself or your coworkers or maybe even your clients. You know, this is work that you have been putting in towards something outside of yourself, but every, it, it takes a piece of yourself when you do it. So whatever the case may be for you individually, this is you taking a, a, a moment to evaluate this work. So if you have been putting a lot of work in towards, you know, maybe clients or um, patients or something like that, this is you evaluating the work that you've been doing at this point. And whether or not you're receiving a fair return. And it's not always about return either. Because for some of you, I feel like this is also you just thinking about, you know, the reasons behind why you do what you do. And just taking a moment to reevaluate these things for yourself. You know, am I providing this service to these people because I want recognition? Am I providing this service to these people because... I care about the community outreach, you know, maybe where can I improve, where do things need to change. So this is some evaluation here on that part for you. Let's move on to Saturday here. We have the Three of Wands, and this tells me that there is a decision or some movement happening from this evaluation, from these things that you have taken into consideration. And the wands are related to fire energy. This is related to the things that ignite us, the things that excite us and move us forward. This is the things that we're trying to create and bring into the here and now for ourselves. This is the process of creation. And so the three of wands, this comes right after the two of wands and twos are decisions, but three is the movement. And you can see that these three wands are kind of moving in this I'll bring it closer so you can see it. But you can see that those three wands here are kind of pushing towards one direction and not the other. And so this is meant to indicate the movement that we do. So there is some sort of decision that you have made here, some sort of inspiration that has come to your mind that you have decided to take some action with. So maybe you're taking action on how to make these changes in the work that you've been doing. Maybe this is action towards, you know, doing something different for yourself, taking care of yourself, making sure that you're not, you know, meeting other people's needs to the detriment of your own. Whatever the case may be, on Saturday here, you have some movement towards this decision, whatever this decision you made may be. And ultimately, it leads to happiness and fulfillment. As we said at the end of last week with the strength card here, the strength card at the end of last week, not this card. This card's the Ten of Cups. 
we ended the week before with the strength card and I said that, you know, there is something that is going to actually lead to happiness here. And the Ten of Cups is happiness and it's fulfillment. It is more than that though. Like when you look at the World card and the Ten of Cups, these cards both look pretty similar in that, you know, they're, they're circles and connected by these, you know, interlocking or interweaving pieces. And the Ten of Cups is like ultimate happiness, ultimate fulfillment. This is the thing that fills up your cup. So whatever this decision that you end up making here on Saturday, Cancer, on Sunday, you're able to feel some happiness from it. And I don't just want to say happiness because that feels like it's such a, uh, that, that doesn't feel like enough for what this description is. I feel like whatever this decision that you made previously, whatever this decision is, you moving in this direction is moving you towards this peace, this happiness and contentment. I feel like, you know, this is kind of that signal that you've made the right decision, that you have made a decision that brings you towards what it is that you want, what it is that you're seeking. And, you know, cups are associated with water sign. It's, it's water energy. And so, you know, Cancer, you are a water sign. And the Ten of Cups here is, you know, fulfillment of yourself. This is achieving something within yourself and within your abilities to, you know, build this happiness, to build this peace and contentment and love and joy. And, you know, Ten of Cups is oftentimes family. So, you know, if you have this, honestly, this card here is just cancer energy through and through family love gratitude contentment all of those things are are what this card represents ultimate light and happiness and fulfillment so anyway i feel like whatever this decision that you make is cancer it's moving you towards this and you do get to feel a glimpse and even you know some pieces of this happiness and contentment on the 25th here so Cancer, overall, you know, there is a lot of work going on here for you. There is a lot of things that you are going through that you are, you know, you're handling it like a champ, honestly, because there is so much here that you are struggling with. You are trying to take care of everybody else and trying to take care of yourself and taking the time to reevaluate why you are doing things the way that you are and making changes accordingly, making decisions and moving away from things that are not serving you, you know, that all takes incredible strength and power and work to do it. And Cancer, I'm just really proud of you for, you know, putting in the work, but also making sure that you are doing what needs to be done. Even if it means that you are taking care of yourself, even if it means that you are, you know, accepting that these people or things within your life might not be meeting your needs the way that you need them met. And instead of, you know, sitting in this energy of wallowing in why people aren't meeting your needs, you are taking action to meet your own needs. So anyway, Cancer, I love you so much and I'm really proud of you. I wish I could give you a hug because all of this energy is just very, very heavy stuff that you're dealing with. So anyway, Thank you for being here this week, Cancer, and I look forward to seeing you again next week.